New developments in the story of Kayla Jean Mueller, the 26-year-old from Arizona, the only known remaining U.S. hostage of ISIS. The terror group claims Mueller was killed by a coalition airstrike in northern Syria, but overnight, Mueller's family raising the possibility mm -hmm. she's still alive, putting out a statement addressed directly to ISIS. And we want to bring you that message from her parents. They say, quote, you told us that you treated Kayla as your guest, and then they add, quote, as your guest, her safety and well-being remains your responsibility. This is an agonizing, a confusing situation. And ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, is here with more this morning. Good morning, Brian. Uh, good morning, Paul and Dan. U.S. officials this morning are still searching for proof of the claim that this 26-year-old American idealist is dead and that she was killed the way ISIS said she was. Her parents say Kayla Mueller wanted to make the world a better place, which is what led her to Syria where she was taken hostage more than a year and a half ago by ISIS. Shortly after, she posted this video on YouTube. I am in solidarity with the Syrian people. I reject the brutality and killing that the Syrian authorities are committing against the Syrian people. In an online message, ISIS now claims she was killed in an airstrike on this building in the city of Raqqa, carried out, they claim, by Jordanian pilots. Jordan did carry out a series of airstrikes against ISIS this week. And U.S. officials told ABC News the building cited by ISIS was one of the targets, but that that still does not prove Kayla Mueller was killed there. She could have been killed someplace else. She could have been dead for months. So you can't really believe any words out of their mouth at this point. Kayla's parents in Prescott, Arizona, had worked desperately behind the scenes to find a way to gain their daughter's freedom after ISIS first threatened to kill her on her birthday last August, demanding a $6 million ransom be paid. In that statement overnight, the parents, Carl and Marsha Mueller, revealed they had been privately communicating with ISIS and asked the terror group to contact them again, saying, we are still hopeful that Kayla is alive. A lot of agonizing moments, Brian, but those Jordanian airstrikes were in retaliation for the brutal execution of one of their pilots. But how careful has the American military been to avoid hitting any targets where American hostage might be? Well, exactly. U.S. military officials tell us they've been taking particular care to make sure that any site where they thought she might have been, mm -hmm. they have avoided making a target. All right, Brian Ross, thank you for joining us this morning.